Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I have some new products from Hero Arts that I'm going to be using for this card. I have their wood frame infinity dies and a darling little stamp set called Knitting. I just love the cats and the little girl in this set. Since July is Worldwide Watercoloring Month, I thought I would pull out my little set of Daniel Smith watercolors and paint these images. I'm going to stamp them onto a piece of Arches Cold Press watercolor paper. This paper has a bit of texture to it, which I really enjoy painting on. I'm selecting which images I want to stamp out. There are so many darling little images in this set. And I'm going to stamp them with my mini Misty. This allows me to stamp it several times to get the ink into the tooth of the paper. So I'm selecting a few of the cats. I didn't know which ones exactly I wanted to use on my card. but I just wanted to paint all of these up. They're so darling. I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. This is a waterproof ink, so it's perfect for what I'm doing today. And it stamps out nice and black. And I do end up stamping these up several times. So how many of you are knitters or crocheters? I like to do both. I think I prefer crochet. I know a lot of knitters and crocheters in my life. So I thought this set would be perfect to use to send out cards to them. I'm going to let the ink dry a little bit just because I did press so much ink onto this paper. <laughs> so I love watercolors so much that I decided to try out the Daniel Smiths. I heard a lot of wonderful things about them. And so I purchased a few tubes of these and put them in my own palette. I'm starting off by coloring in this cute little girl and I'm going to use lighter skin tones for her. If you use orange and red colors and then dilute them, it makes a really lovely skin tone. I didn't have a gray in my selection of colors, so I mixed some primary colors to get this grayish brownish color for her pants. There are a few gaps in my collection of colors, but you can make up for them by blending other colors together, of course. I wanted to have a little gray cat. I just love gray cats. I'm leaving her nose and the tip of her tail white. And then on this cat, I'm going to have her be a calico cat. I really like the thick lines on these images. This is going to definitely be one of my favorite sets for 2019. I'm also doing lots of layers. I let the paint dry and I come back again to add more depth and dimension on my paintings. I move from image to image just to allow time to let them dry and to keep working. Now I'm adding some shadows to her pants. And while that dries, I'm working on the little basket of yarn. I'm putting stripes on my cat. And I'm coloring in their little ears and the tips of their noses with pink. I fuss a lot with her hair. I just couldn't get it the right color that I wanted it to be. I think I didn't allow it to dry enough in between painting it and the colors just kept spreading out. I didn't leave enough highlights to my liking. I want her sweater to be a coral color. So I'm just mixing my pinks and oranges to get the right color. It really helps to have a piece of scrap watercolor paper to see the colors that you're mixing. And I use up every little edge of it. Don't want to waste this nice expensive paper. So my color inspiration for this card comes from a picture I saw of a beautiful black and pinkish corally bird. It's strange where you can get inspiration. It can come from anywhere. But that picture was just so striking. I loved the contrast of the blacks and the corals together. So that's the colors I'm going to use on this card. I wanted to add a little more color to her skin tone. It just dried back too pale. And then her scarf is going to be a lighter color of coral. And the piece that she's knitting is going to be a really bright pink. And I have to remember to add the same colors to her little basket of yarn. 
And I also add a skein of yellow yarn just to brighten up this cute little basket. It was just looking a little bit too dark. So as you can see, I go back and forth a lot with my painting. But that's okay if you have a good quality watercolor paper. It'll take a lot of abuse and a lot of water. I only taped down the corners of this paper. If I were going to add water to the whole piece of paper, I would have taped around each edge so it was secured down to my mat. It will buckle up a little bit with the water, but if you have it securely taped down, it'll dry flat for you. Now onto my sentiment, and I'm going to stamp this onto a piece of black cardstock, and I'm going to heat emboss that with some white embossing powder. I prep that first with my anti-static powder bag. I'm using my Hero Arts embossing ink. This came in one of their card kits, and I really have loved the way this works. The cube is really juicy, and the ink holds onto the embossing powder really well. I usually use Versamark ink, which I really love too. So I'm pouring the embossing powder over the ink and flicking off the excess. And then I can just pour the rest of the embossing powder into the little bottle. I've had this embossing powder for about three years now, and I'm finally starting to see a dent in it. <laughs> it just lasts forever. Now I can melt the embossing powder. I did allow my heating tool to heat up for a minute before I brought it to the paper. And I'm going to cut this down into a strip. I cut out my frame with a piece of dark gray cardstock, and I also cut out a piece of white fun foam so that I could add a little dimension to my frame. I'm using some score tape to attach these two pieces together. This is a nice strong tape. I'm trimming down my fun foam just because it does get squished a little bit when you run it through your die cut machine. But that's easy to fix with a pair of long sharp scissors. And I'm going to stamp my logo onto the back of my card base before I attach everything to the front. Now I can adhere my card together. This is the fun part, or one of them I should say. So as you can see we have a lot of pinks and grays going on here. I'm adding my frame onto my light pink card base. And then I start attaching my painted images, but I forgot to add the dark pink piece of paper that goes inside the frame. So I have to gently pull those up to add the pink cardstock behind them. I just needed a little bit of depth of color behind them. And I'm attaching those right onto the frame. She's going to look like she's sitting on this little frame. I'm using some liquid glue as well as some foam squares to prop her up so she's the same height as the frame. And this is where I realize I need to put the pink paper behind her. So I'm gently peeling her up off the card. And I'm going to use some liquid glue behind this piece. And now I can reattach her back onto my card. I really love how she is drawn to look as though she's sitting, and so I thought it'd be fun to sit her on this frame. And I wanted to add all of the cats, but for the balance of this card, I'm just going to add the little gray one behind her. And then for my sentiment, I'm going to cut one side into a banner. And the other side, I'm going to use some black and white baker's twine to tie around the edge. I thought this would be just the perfect touch for this knitting card. And I'm not even going to tie it in a bow. I'm just going to tie it in a little knot. I'm adding more foam squares behind this so it will be the same height as the frame, as well as a little bit of liquid glue. And then I'm going to cut the end of this off at an angle. 
in the picture at the end, you'll see that I did add some sequins to this card, but I just love how it turned out. I added a little cat on the inside, as well as the sentiment that says, you make my day. This isn't the same cat that you saw me paint. I got it mixed up with one I had painted earlier. So thank you, my crafty friends, for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and get a chance to sit down and make something awesome. And thank you all so much for your lovely comments and for hitting the thumbs up button on my videos. Bye.